<clears throat> hey Scorpio, what's going on? What's the crack? I hope you're super well. Um, my name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a love reading for November. Scorpio, but also it's timeless, you know, so whenever you happen to get it is when you were, you know, when you were meant to get it. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me, Scorpio. You know, appreciate you taking the time to check out the reading. And if you find the reading resonates with you, Scorpio, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, of course, I'd appreciate that a lot. And happy birthday to those, uh, those lovely Scorpios out there who have had a birthday or you got a birthday coming up because it is your season if you're watching this in November. Hope it's a great day, whatever you end up doing. Lots of cups of tea, <laughs> heating on. Alright Spirit, what's going on for Scorpio in love? Magician. Okay, things are being manifested behind the scenes here, Scorpio. Two cups. Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, Temperance. So you've been waiting for a while here. Either you've been single and you're waiting to meet someone or you're waiting on a specific person. There's healing, okay? There's something, there's some kind of healing in your environment. This could be your person. There could be like a healing energy surrounding this connection. Your person might need to heal or you might need to heal. This is something that you want to work on though. Yeah, because you want to make someone an offer here or you're hoping somebody's going to make you an offer. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo here, or Capricorn. You're hoping someone's going to make you an offer and reach out to you. Knight of Swords here. It's usually something happening kind of fast. So, with the Magician here, this is something, that's, there's things happening behind the scenes that you can't, you can't see. You know, it might feel like absolutely nothing is happening. <laughs> And, uh, you know, as far as you're concerned, like in reality, you know, in your 3D world, it's not. But behind the scenes, there's things happening here because there's something to do with healing with the Four of Swords here. Like there's some kind of separation or there's some kind of break where there's, there's healing. So temperance in your past position, you've been very patient been trying to get yourself balanced maybe, um, patiently waiting for a new person to appear or for your person to get their act together. You have the Knight of Cups down here. There is someone coming in with a love offer. There is someone coming in with a love offer. Someone needs to leave something behind though with the Seven of Swords. You, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Some of you could be, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius in your past. Knight of Swords is usually something, there's some, there's victory. The Six of Wands here and you have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's, it's fast, something's happening fast. It's not fast enough for you. <laughs>
Okay. <clears throat> Why is that two of cups there? So you're coming into balance with yourself at the moment. You might not feel like you are, but you are. <clears throat> two of cups here with the two of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with more than one person. Some of you could be making a choice between two people. Obviously, that's not going to be for all of you. But, um... Yeah, two of cups. You're coming into balance with yourself. Also, for some of you, like, if this is someone you've just met, there's something here about, like, balancing out the connection. You know... Something here about balancing out the connection. <clears throat> but I feel like this this is aspects of yourself that you're bringing into balance here that you might, you might not have dealt with for a long time, you know? Or you might never have dealt with these aspects of yourself. Why is that Seven of Swords there? to leave behind you you already something you gotta leave behind ten of swords here seven of swords here page of swords at the bottom of the deck there's like an ending something that you've got to leave behind but it's internal it's something internal yeah there's overthinking look at this you got the seven and the eight of swords here you have to leave behind the overthinking, Scorpio. You gotta stop thinking too much. It's like you're already thinking the worst <laughs> with the Ten of Swords here. It's like you're already thinking the worst about the situation. <clears throat> Alright, clarify this Empress, please. So like I said, you could be currently dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, if you're dealing with a Taurus, your Taurus is here again in the future. Your person is going to reach out, by the way. You're going to get what you want. You have the eight. I meant to say that. <laughs> I meant to say that earlier. That would have been useful earlier. Look at that. It's just fallen out. Um, this is a nice birthday reading, Scorpio. Um, eight of pentacles here you're wanting someone to reach out right with that pentacle see how he's working on that offer you're wanting this person to reach out and they're going to see it's the same pentacle for the love of god why would it focus there we go um i'm actually just going to move this because it has a tendency to focus on that when i do readings when it's darker so you're going to get what you want, okay? This person's going to reach out to you. So at the moment, yeah, listen. Um, whether or not you're dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, you're getting yourself balanced at the moment. The Empress and the Four of Wands. There's, there's some kind of balance here. Also, you're manifesting. You know, with the Empress and the Four of Wands, you're manifesting. Um, for those of you who identify with the Divine Feminine, you're currently getting into your Divine Feminine energy, which is part of this balance thing. Um, because the, the thing about the, the Empress is the Divine Feminine, she does not overthink, right? Because she knows that what's, like, we have a saying in Scotland, I don't know if everybody says it, but what's for you won't go by you. You know, it's like, what is destined for me will come to me. So what's the point in worrying? You know, like the Empress doesn't chase, you know, she doesn't get all stressed out about things. She just lets things, she just lets things flow to her because there's no resistance, you know? And I see it again here in the future with the Hierophant, like because you're not resisting things, things are gonna start naturally flowing to you. Some of you could be about to move in with someone, like with the Empress and the Four of Wands. 
Some of you could be about to move in with your person. Some of you could be pregnant with the Empress. Um, even if you don't identify with the Divine Feminine, this is a period of growth. This is a period of learning to love yourself. And becoming stable. Uh, this is why there's healing. This is why this Four of Swords energy is here. This like taking time, taking time to heal, taking time to rest, R and R. It's because Spirit wants you to balance this, these energies that tell you you're not good enough. Clarify this Hierophant. This person's going to reach out though. These are all very... There's something very calm about this reading. If you don't feel like this at the moment, I think you're going to get there soon. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So in your near future here, make sure you're keeping the faith. Make sure the, the Hierophant is all about allowing the universe to bring you things without trying to control the situation. And hey, I'm a Gemini. Look what I do. <laughs> Look what I do with my time. Tower reading. I'm, I'm a control freak too, okay? But this is the message of the Hierophant, is to try and be more open to what the universe has for you. And to keep the faith, you know. The Wheel of Fortune is things changing. It's actually, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is expect miracles with this combination. They just put that in my head. Expect miracles. Queen of Wands. All right. You're thinking that this is not going to work out. <laughs> Whatever this is. Because either with the Queen of Wands here and the Four of Cups, a few things here, you've either been single for so long that you've got yourself into this energy of like, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> like, like, you know, I never get with anyone or like nobody's ever interested in me, so I'm not even going to try. Plus, there's an energy with the Queen of Wands of being hyper-independent, so I don't know if something happened in your past. Too, because the Temperance card can also be trying to get your feet back on the ground after something's ended. Excuse me, Scorpio. So for some of you, something ended. Excuse me, a relationship, and it put you into hyper-independence mode. And it's kind of put you in this energy of like, you're almost like scared to get into a relationship again. Because you're scared of rejection or you're thinking about your past. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me more about this near future, please. Tell me for uh, tell me more about this near future. Some of you have a commitment with a Libra coming in, or with a Taurus. Also, this is fate, the Hierophant with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a fated connection you're dealing with, which honestly, they're always a pain in the arse, but worth it in the end. Queen of Swords. And the Emperor. Okay. Again, there's a little bit of defensiveness with that Queen of Swords, and it's because, I mean, you could be dealing with that, that could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, but speaking about you with the Queen of Swords there, regardless of your gender, you could be a little defensive because of all, you know, whatever you've been through in the past here, but there's, there's a conversation here, um, and with the Emperor, 
this is more stability coming in here like this is look it's um your counterpart the emperor and the empress this is stability coming in with someone but this is the this is why they're giving you this time to get into your empress energy here or you can swap the roles if you think of yourself as an emperor you know um but they're giving you time to get into your empress energy because you have an emperor coming which could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This might be someone who's coming back leveled up. You know, the Emperor. Um, this person could already be a father. If you're dealing with a, ma um, a male. Um, but you know, this person's experienced life. You know, they're usually pretty successful. They could be a little older than you. Could be a like Queen of Swords, like I said, it could be an air sign that's a little older than you. They don't have to be older, but you could be dealing with someone quite traditional with the Hierophant. But the Emperor is very loyal, you know. Give me a bit more on this near future. You have the Hierophant with the Eight of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune with the Lovers. You have the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Wands. And you have the Emperor with the Justice. Okay, this could definitely be a Libra. Um, you have a lot of Libra energy in this reading. Um, could be a Gemini. Definitely dealing with a fated connection here. You have the... the um, the fate card with the lovers underneath it. That now that's the thing about the lovers card, right? People think like, oh, it's all romantic and lovey dovey, right? And it is. It's the true love card. But the thing is, the reason they call it the true love card is because it takes a while to get to that place. You know, they're both naked, which you know it represents that the two of them have nothing to hide from one another. You know, it takes a while to get to this point where like the egos have been dropped. And you're both just laying it bare, do you know what I mean? But this is like a fated connection that you have here. There's also something to do with divine timing. You're going to be suspicious. Or this could be your person as well. Also, if you're dealing with a Libra, uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could be very suspicious because they've been hurt in the past. But this Emperor figure is coming back in to balance this out. Um, it could also be for those of you who have you've not got anyone in mind um this is like karma balancing itself out for you you know because you've done the healing you've got into this emperor status um you know self-love and then this person comes in this emperor you're listening to your intuition here and moving into the right place yeah, see, you're moving on from this um, overthinking and this kind of negative attitude. Because <clears throat> um, you've got everything you need now with the magician. You've learned your lessons from the past, you know. You've got everything you need. And you're moving into a place where you're supposed to be. Eight of Cups here, you move, look, you're moving towards, you can't see that, <laughs> sorry, the Eight of Cups here. So when I put him down, he's facing this way. See, you're moving forward into the future here. So there's someone coming in for you, and this person will make you an offer, Page of Pentacles. This is just about timing. Or it could be someone completely new coming in as well, like, um, you know, you're going to know better than I am, right? <laughs> what your situation is, Scorpio. So um, I'm going to talk more about, because it's a birthday reading, I'm just going to make it a long, long one and not do an extended one, you know what I mean? So I'm going to include your extended in here. This person's slow, okay? 
They are <coughs> slow moving. They're kind of a dreamer. All right, so tell us a bit more about Scorpio's person. <coughs> tell us a bit more about Scorpio's person. Two of Swords, Six of uh, Wands, Justice, Ace of Wands, wow you have two Aces, Six of Cups looks like you either already know this person or um, could be a past life connection. Jeez, nine of, what's this? I don't really know why you're giving me them spirit. Uh, clarify this top row, please. Clarify this top row. Nine of pentacles, this person could own their own business. Could be someone that you work with. Okay. This person is focused on money at the moment, whether you know them or not, because they want to make you this offer. And I just, I just saw the four of pentacles, so they're focused on money. Or they're not quite ready to make you this offer yet. Ten of cups. person could be um, leaving behind a long-term commitment. They could be getting a divorce or there could be some kind of legal separation here that they've just moved away from. Okay. So you have here, you have Virgo, Capricorn, you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have Libra and you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's that King and Queen of Swords. Nice. The hermit at the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this person's in some kind of, if it's not a Virgo, um, even if it is a Virgo, I think they've been in some kind of hermit mode here, which, you know, the hermit is, is like um, taking some time out to think, to think about things, to think about what you want, to think about what you want to do, to think about how you're going to move forward. Maybe a little bit too much thinking, okay, but you know, it's a, it's a period of self-reflection. Um, they might physically be spending a lot of time by themselves. I feel they're walking away from something kind of long-term here. Um, so you have here the, the first thing I want to say as well is you have this two of swords here with the ten of cups. So this person could be at some kind of impasse at the moment. Um, specifically with this justice card coming up here, this could be like, um, especially with this Ten of Cups, there could be some kind of past long-term relationship here. This person might even have children. And there's like mediation happening. So there, there's something here about like this person can't move forward and it's something to do with like a commitment here. Um, it could also be this person is not sure which way to go at the moment, which kind of works with this hermit card. You know, like at the moment, 
because they could have this ten of cups in their past position so they could be especially with the justice like i was saying they could be trying to mediate a divorce or something like that so that's what their attention is focused on at the moment because they feel like they can't move forward with you till that's done um this could also be that like they see this ten of cups with you but they're not sure how to move forward yet you know I do feel there might be a long-term commitment in this person's past or something like that um because you have the six of wands here with the queen of swords so this person might be having a bit of a clear out here the six of wands they could have been dealing with um a gemini libra aquarius in their past or like their karmic, this could be their karmic ex they're moving on from. But it's like they're having a bit of a clear out here, you know, they're getting rid of what needs to be gotten rid of. Six of Wands is victory, though it's success, you know. Um, this, this, oh, there's a lot of blue here, this person could finally be learning to stand up for themselves. And again, this is air energy, you know, so they could be kind of getting into their power here you have the page of pentacles with the ace of cups so there is this is either new love or it's love like renewed love in an existing relationship coming in page of pentacles like this person might not be used to giving their heart away um they might have been single for a really long time you know um or they're kind of shy about doing this you know it's like a sort of, t the page of pentacles is kind of tentative, you know, um, like, oh, here's my heart, like, don't stomp on it, please. Um, also, they could be someone that you study with. You might go to school with this person or you might learn something together. But this person is very, very smart. You have two, you have the king and the queen of swords here. They could definitely be an air side, very, very smart. However, they are protecting themselves, king of swords, with the ace of wands. They're very, very passionate about you with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. Um, but they're protecting themselves. You know, they're being, with the King of Swords, like they want to be smart about this. I always see him as a Virgo as well for some, you know, you could definitely be dealing with a Virgo here. Um, but you know, King and the Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with a teacher. Um, you could be dealing with someone in the military or the police. You could be dealing with a writer. Someone that, you know, um, sort of, okay, kind just came out. Um, someone that kind of mediates text in some way, you know, like a, they could be a YouTuber or something like that. Creative person is very creative. Okay, what else? What's this? Self-employed. So this person could own their own business. They could also just have walked away with the justice. They could have walked away from some kind of karmic situation. I don't really like the way they came out. Sorry, Scorpio. Okay, what else? Yeah, I can't pick up the card. There we go. Independent. So this person's very independent. Uh, earth sign. So there could be an earth sign for some of you. To the point. Yeah. That's very much the energy of the King of Swords. <laughs> like, you know, they could be quite brisk you know what i mean and just say stuff to you not in a bad way just in an air sign way <laughs> but i think virgos are quite like that too you know sometimes virgos just say stuff and i say it with love if there's any virgos or air signs watching because i'm an air sign okay what else about this person for scorpio Straight shooter, yep. And one more. I would 
see with the king and the queen of swords here this person seeing you is like a soulmate energy because i think they really like talking to you or if you've not met this person yet you're going to find that you really like talking to this person One more. Cute. Cool. So this person's cute. Nice. I like that Scorpio. Okay. That is Page of Pentacles energy. I always think someone who's kind of cute. Um, So, let me pull a few of these red cards for um, how this person is feeling about Scorpio. So, how is this person feeling about Scorpio? Strong attraction, let's see, you have strong attraction, you have there's no one else, you have they don't feel worthy, a bit of self esteem problems here and you have they want to come towards you but they can't, because I do feel this person's got stuff going on, you know, oh you have I think about you all the time. It's definitely ear sign territory. <laughs> okay, how else does this person feel about Scorpio? How else does this person feel about Scorpio, please? Mm, you have heavy responsibilities. Yeah. I think this person's just got a lot going on, Scorpio. What's this? You have, there's someone else. Okay. So it's possible this is talking about, because I've seen this come out before, in people that are like going through a divorce or something like that, or like through a separation. So it's like, there is someone else, but as far as they're concerned, it's over. Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, what else please for Scorpio? They might think that you have someone else going on as well. You have, I hate being apart from you. So they want to come towards you, but they can't. And they hate being apart from you. And you have, I see marriage and children with you. At the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's just get three cards. No? Being told no. <laughs> okay. And let's go into what action this person is going to take towards you. Scattered energy. Scattered energy. Right. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see what we've got here. Their energy is quite scattered. Right, I'm gonna take those two and then look at the bottom here. So you have page of wands. So there's a message, okay? They're still quite hurt. Four of pentacles, they're still quite hurt. But they're gonna reach out to you nonetheless. Because they do see you as like a new start in their life. Um, so they're going to reach out to you. There's your energy. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to make you that offer. This is what this is what you've been hoping for. You're going to get what you've been hoping for with this person. It just might take them some time, Scorpio. I think it just depends on whether or not you feel like they're worth waiting for. I don't know. Or you want to wait. Or you should wait. I'm not telling you to wait. <laughs> just read the cards. Um, 
Okay, so definitely going to reach out to their Scorpio, make you an offer. Offer of a new beginning that leads to something else. Okay, what action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? Okay, Eight of Swords, they're very stuck in their head. But they're going to get out of their head and come towards you. They might remain kind of stuck in their head while they're dating you. But I think, you know, if you're, you might just be dealing with someone who's like that. Yeah, five of wands here. Ace of Cups. So they're, they're gonna, there's conflict in their brain um, or in their life. But they're going to reach out to you, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, because they want this new beginning with you. They're going to offer you love. They're going to offer you a new beginning. They're going to fight for this, Scorpio. Okay. High Priestess. So they're going to follow their intuition. That's how they're going to get out of this Two of Swords energy. They're going to follow their intuition. You might have to be patient. You know, I don't think they're gonna rush. Or, they're gonna follow their intuition, okay? They might be, they might be patient, you know? Um, you know, they might wait for the right time to do this. But they're going to follow their intuition. That's how they're going to get out of that Two of Swords energy. <laughs> okay, they're definitely going to get out of that Two of Swords energy. Yeah, they're going to get out of this Eight of Swords mind fart energy. We're gonna move away from conflict, move away from things being up in the air. Oh, it might happen kind of fast. I stand corrected. Knight of Wands. Impulsive. You know, they're, they're not gonna be as smooth, I think, as they would like to be. <laughs> the Knight of Wands is not a super slick energy. You know, he's not the king, but um, certainly charming. And he's gonna to come towards you with this offer going to follow your into he or she they're going to follow their intuition towards you they're going to get out of this two of swords energy of not knowing what to do because a situation might end is the thing something that they're involved in might end and it might free them up to move forward because you have this eight of well it will you know i'm just saying that this two of swords is either because it's there's a thing holding them back or it's like they just don't know how to move forward yet so either way they're going to get freed up to move forward. And you have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands. This is mental freedom from this, you know. The Eight of Swords is like, I don't know how to move forward. I don't know what to do. I feel stuck. I can't do anything until this situation has ended, whatever it is, right? But the Ace of Wands is like, yes, I can. <laughs> I see what to do now. I'm moving forward. You know, you have the Five of Wands here with the Six of Swords, so it's like moving past whatever this conflict or things being up in the air is. And then I think it's going to happen kind of fast, you know, this offering you the new love. But there is a new offer here. There's an offer of a new beginning here, Scorpio, um, from your person. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you, Scorpio. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care and lots of love.